Okay, we are back here in the shop. Um, start off, we got the motor on the stand here. Got the S2000 out of the shop, put the cradle back on it, put the tires back on, rolled out of shop so I can get other projects in here, um, which there is a lot of. But anyway, we uh, got the engine on the stand. I didn't get a video of the transmission disassembly from the engine because it's kind of straightforward, but basically just pop the transmission off, unbolt the clutch, and unbolt the uh, flywheel. So with this motor, complete teardown, basically what we're gonna start doing here is gonna take off the exhaust manifold, come around on this side, and we've got the whole intake. We're gonna undo the intake manifold, uh, probably leave it as complete as I can just because um, there shouldn't be anything wrong with it other than replacing the gasket and pop it back on after we get the rebuild done. Undo the whole rest of the accessory drive system and undo the motor mounts, get the wiring harness off of it, and then we'll continue from there. But I'll start disassembling that stuff and uh, keep you up to date. See you later. Actually, I decided it would be better to uh, kind of give a more detailed description of this. I don't have a cameraman right now to do this, and uh, it's just kind of a pain to do, hold the camera and work, so I need both hands for that. But basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to start off taking off this heat shield here, heat shield here, um, undo the exhaust manifold bolts underneath that, pull the exhaust manifold off, motor mount off, oil filter off, obviously, Pop the hoses off, spring clamps for everything. Undo this valve body here up top. Crankshaft bolt and pulley has to come off. Normally Hondas um, have a keyway, so you just undo the bolt and this should just slide off by hand. Sometimes on Hondas, this bolt is really, really tight for whatever reason. They do make a special socket for it or if you have a really powerful impact gun, you can get it off. Idler pulley, water pump, tensioner's got to come off, alternator's got to come off. Um, again, hopefully you keep the fuel rail attached to the manifold, fuel rail's under here. Hopefully you keep that attached to the manifold and a lot of these hoses on just to keep track of everything. Um, again, I won't be doing anything with the intake manifold besides replacing the intake gaskets to the head when I put it back together. So the rest of it should stay together and complete and Coming to the back of the motor, there really isn't a lot to do back here for the moment, except for pull the starter off. Now, I will mention that the upper starter bolt does go to the transmission. It's a really, really long bolt, about that long, and it goes all the way through. So you do need to remember to undo that top bolt. That is the only kind of hidden bolt when you pull the transmission off. Um, the bottom bolt is short and stays attached to the transmission. Um, other than that, may pull the oil pan off right now. Um, there is only a couple bolts holding it in place because I pulled it off earlier while I was in the car to inspect the uh, rod bearings. I was hoping that it was a rod bearing that was bad and it wasn't bad enough that did crank damage and I could just uh, roll the rod bearing out and replace them because on this car, the least the la the six, number two, number three, and number four uh, pistons, you actually can easily replace the rod bearings while the motor is in the car if there is no crank damage. Um, some people say you can't, but you actually can. It's not hard to do. You can actually get number one out as well. It's just kind of harder because the oil pump is in the way. Um, I will try and get a video on, on that um, in a little bit to show you how easy it is to get those off while it's in the vehicle. Unfortunately, these bearings all checked out okay, the crank checked out okay, and it has to be a main bearing that's bad. Um, I do not have a picture or a video of what I saw in the bottom of the oil pan, but what was in the bottom of the oil pan was definitely copper bearing material, and there was a substantial amount of it. So by seeing what I saw, I am guessing that it's gonna need a crank. The bearing is probably so bad, it's probably the bearing is gone, spun the bearing, and 
the crank might be uh, eaten up pretty bad, but we'll find out soon enough. So next video or next part to come, or I might just add on to this video, who knows? Who knows what I'm thinking? Okay, here we are, uh, roughly about an hour later. It really did not take long to get all the accessories off of this. Um, pretty much what I discussed earlier has been done. We've got the intake off, uh, water pump, water pump adapter off, tensioner off, all the brackets off, motor mounts off on this side. The starter is now off. I did take the alternator off as well. Um, Obviously, haven't taken the harmonic balancer off yet. That'll be the next step, harmonic balancer. I learned to take the front timing cover off, excuse me, the front timing cover off. The uh, oil pan will come off. Valve cover next. And we're gonna move around on this side of the motor. Get down here, the exhaust manifold is off. The lower motor mount is off. And all of those hoses dangling everywhere are off as well as the wire harness. I left the wire harness attached to the intake manifold for the most part, that was the easiest way. Uh, come over here real quick. Here's my stack of parts. And as you can see, I pretty much left the intake manifold complete with all the hose assemblies and everything else. Um, easiest way to do it. Don't lose track of stuff. And now we will begin the actual engine disassembly where we are going to find out how bad this Honda S2000 motor really is. I hope it can be saved because I really don't want to spend $7,000 for a used motor. Mind you, that is LS3 dollars, but in a Honda motor. Um, you can get these motors um, completely remanufactured or new from a lot of aftermarket manufacturers. From what I've seen, they run $15,000 and there's no way I'm spending that kind of money in this car right now. So hopefully we can fix this one.